All right, here's us tracking those developments coming in from Chittagurga, Karnataka. As much the rape accused has been seen roaming free. He's caught free seven days on, and this man still faces no arrest. Survivors, though, on the other hand, have been repeatedly questioned. Protests now erupt outside the DC office with protesters demanding that this man step down as the Mutz pontiff until he comes out clean. And, and then if he is, of course, innocent, he can always come back. But for now, let the law take its course. Whether this is, con whether this is conspiracy, whether this is someone trying and attempting to taint his image, etc. All of those allegations can be proven wrong only post-investigation. Investigation has to take place. This is a case under the POXO Act. Two young girls, 15 and 16 years of age, have said that they've been sexually assaulted for three and a half years. And owing to this, it's mandatory for the Karnataka police to act swiftly. But shame on the department, police department, for not following protocols till date. Look at, look at the protesters there, if you can uh, see how they've, uh, in fact, grown in numbers. Uh, there were a few people initially, they were all hoping that maybe uh, the police will come today, tomorrow, they will act on him. But it's seven days on and now people also have realized, the public at large have realized that this seems to be uh, the man with uh, the allegations on him seems to be using his immense political pull to evade arrest, uh, not even allowing for the investigations to begin. And what's shocking is that this man has not been called for a medical test. So you can imagine a case of sexual assault, rape and sexual assault, a medical test is highly important uh, to prove if at all there has been any kind of uh, physical attack or sexual assault. Uh, there has to be a medical test done and you're talking about seven days delay. This could only surely alter the course of the investigation, will we'll come as a setback to those girls, those uh, young girls who have uh, possibly mustered the courage to come out and file a police complaint. Now, these images showing of growing numbers of locals there demanding justice for those girls who do not have political backing the way the seer holds.